Going to get to our story, our investigative reporter Mario Diaz has been following closely thousands of Houston Police Department's sexual cases being suspended. Mario spoke to Mayor John Whitmire about the issue yesterday, and after days of silence, Chief Troy Finner held the news conference today, revealing more bombshells. The biggest two over 4,000 sex assault cases were suspended, and he's known of the practice for quite some time. In November of 2021 was the first time I ever heard of a case management system code labeled as suspended lack of personnel. At that time, I directed Special Victims Division to stop using this code. What steps did you take in 2021 to investigate these cases that had been suspended? That's part of the investigation, but let me answer this one question. We added additional investigators in 2018. We added additional investigators in 2021. I just want to say and tell you this and the public this one thing. Don't think that that was the only conversation I had. Oh, just stop this and not do anything else. That is part of my ID investigation, and that's why I'm in on that question. Go ahead if you got another one. Did those steps involve informing the female victims who had been sexually assaulted in 2021? I'm not going to discuss that. Why the push in 2024 to try to find out all the information about this when you knew about this in 2021? Knew about what? You indicated you knew these cases were being suspended in 2021. And I also told you I didn't go into the whole conversation of what happened after that. But you're saying it's part now, of the three years later, you're doing a Mario, significant push. Mario, I'm done with that line of question. If you want to go somewhere else, I want to say it respectfully. Let's, let, let's, if you got more questions of somebody but else, But Houstonians are going to be you. wondering ahead, sir. why, sir. Yeah. Finner says the staff has been upped with 32 new officers in the last few weeks since learning the practice continued under his watch. Again, this all happened only recently. And remember, Chief Finner did not alert Houstonians in November of 2021 when he learned the first time this was happening, only coming clean last Friday. Why should women in the city of Houston trust and respect you knowing that this has been going on under your watch? I think I've been here much longer than you, and uh, we're not going to make anything personal. Uh, people know my heart. And they know me and they know when I say something, I'm going to do it. You've never seen and you've been in a lot of cities, this kind of assimilation of, of, of so many different investigators this quick and moving that fast. But next question. Chief, you've been a part of this department how many years? 34, just about 34. But. Is today the darkest day for you in this department? It's a dark day. How concerned are you about the mayor holding you accountable on this? The mayor don't have to hold me accountable. <laughs> Troy Fenner, first of all, has always held itself accountable. But accountability, yes, I am accountable for the entire department. Chief Fenner's 100% right. Anything that happens under his watch, it's his responsibility. You heard it from him there. We did reach out to Mayor John Whitmire after today's news conference because there was so many new details that were revealed. And we asked the mayor the question that you heard there. Why should Houstonians and women in particular, because these crimes were sexual assault crimes, that their investigations were suspended, why should they trust HPD Chief Troy Finner after everything that he's revealed? We have yet to hear back from Mayor John Whitmire. Um, we hope to do so, and we will update that on click2houston.com. Live at HPD headquarters, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates. All right, Mario, thank you.